Chair. Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. Chair. to take a call for part number four, which is all about enforcement uh, matters. And uh, there's some good points made here, but you know, we have some serious concerns in New Zealand first in relation to part four. Now, in the latest budget, uh, we had Bill English come through and made it quite clear that they were going to take uh, labour enforcement seriously and actually adequately fund um, this part to ensure that the three parts of the triangle, if you will, are actually brought together. Engagement with workers and, uh, and participation from employers and employees and, of course, funding for those regulators to ensure that they've got labour enforcement. Now, when you've got $8 million and the, the government's struggling to, uh, to get a surplus, and in fact, they're uh, woefully, woefully they're, they're struggling to keep their head above water, there's some serious concerns that these labour enforcement officers of $8 million a year, their role will be to actually go and revenue gather. That they are going to be going around and putting infringements on uh, small, medium-sized businesses to try and balance their own books. That's got some serious uh, issues that we see happening. And it's interesting to know that uh, MB, the Minister of Business, Innovation and Employment, has got more staff paid on their books as PR people, as uh, people that are designed to make the, the, that uh, ministry look good, than they have actually of labour inspectors ensuring that they've got good work conditions. So, Mr Chair, uh, we do have some serious reservations around part number four with that. I do uh, and would like to say that New Zealand First supports Ian Lee's Galloway's amendment, um, and we hope that that comes through here, which is uh, number 101 in the supplementary order paper. And this is uh, clause 167B. And after clause 167B, page 108, uh, within six months after the date on which the regulator announces a decision not to prosecute. That enables, if there is action taken against a, a workplace, a, a PCBU, and it is found that there is actually not going to be any uh, civil action taken, then th that person has six months leeway time to actually enforce that and actually go and take their own personal um, attention, is my understanding of that clause. So that is going to be supported. Now, we also hope that that gets the support in the House. Um, also, I see Marama Fox has got one which enables three months after that uh, workplace. And again, our fallback position will think that's fair and reasonable as well as a fallback. But we hope that Labor get their support, Ian Lees Galloway, for his amendment. I am uh, somewhat concerned around some of the uh, contradictions that we're hearing in the House uh, this evening about looking after the self uh, well-being, particularly around order. some of the... Order. The time has come for me to report progress. The House is resumed. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Committee has considered the Health and Safety Reform Bill and reports progress. Mr Speaker, I move the report be adopted. Members, the question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The Health and Safety Reform Bill is set down for further consideration in Committee stage next sitting day. The House stands adjourned until 2pm Tuesday the 25th of August 2015. Kia ora.